Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to be taking a look at the Palomino SS550. This specific camper is compatible on a half ton, three quarter ton, or one ton truck with a five and a half, six and a half, or an eight foot bed. This camper is the Badlands Edition, which means there's three extra options on here. We have the secondary battery tray on the outside, a 100 watt solar panel that is roof mounted, and then also the Thule roof racks. It does come with a friction hinge door that you can open up and leave right where it is. It has the integrated blind right here so you can close it at nighttime or keep it open during the daytime. Oversized grab handle. We have the porch light here with the on and off switch right on the outside. It is pre-wired for an observation camera that will allow you to see behind you the entire time while you're traveling and while you're backing up. The camper will have electric roof lift system on it. So all four corners are electric to get the roof up and down. The jacks that come with it are manual. They will have this crank and it also has this adapter here that you can put in your cordless screw gun and you can run the jacks up and down that way. You can upgrade these to electric jacks. You simply take this head off with the four screws here and it's pre-wired all the way around and you plug the jack head right into the camper. We have an outside shower with hot and cold water. It's a low pressure spray port. It is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Your sink water will actually run right out the side of the camper here. You can take an extra piece of hose to catch the runoff with that. We have your on-demand water heater, which is gas only, meaning it's only using gas when you're running hot water. And it is about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. We have your 110 outlets right here, furnace vent, refrigerator ventilation with your condensation tube hanging out. Your fresh water fill is right here. So if you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking, you fill up the fresh water tank. Turn on your water pump and that will let you use that water. City water connection right down below. So if you're at your house or a campground, you simply hook your water hose up and that will pressurize the lines for you. Underneath here, we have the red key, which is your 12 volt cutoff switch. That will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. This is a little holder for your seven way cord if you unplug that. Right here is a direct line to the battery. So you can put a portable solar panel on here or a battery charger. The camper itself will come with a double sided seven way male cord. The plug on the camper is the same plug on the back of your truck. So the cord plugs in here, runs all the way back and plugs into the back of your truck. This will charge your batteries while you're traveling. And we also recommend unplugging this if you're gonna be parked for a day or two. So that way if your batteries die on the camper, it will not drain your truck batteries. As we move around to the front of the camper, you'll notice the black canvas all the way around, the black front end as well. Very sharp looking, nice and sleek. Right underneath here is going to be your extra battery tray that comes with the Badlands package. There is one box on the inside already. This will allow you to put two batteries on the camper. We have a 20 pound LP tank bottle that will be filled by the Outpost RV. Emergency exit window that you can keep propped open like this to let extra airflow as well. And that concludes the outside walkthrough of the SS550 Badlands. Now we'll head to the inside. Here is a quick view of the solar panel and the Thule roof rack up top. Before we get started on the inside, I wanted to share with you a tip to help you while closing up the camper. We have turned the fantastic fan on high, the fan above the bed. We've lowered the roof a little bit. And what you can do when you close the entrance door, it's gonna create a vacuum that helps pull in all of the canvas while you're closing up the camper. How you run the roof up and down is with this remote right here. These two switches will run it up and down. If you ever upgrade to electric jacks, this will be the remote for that. The red light is for running the roof up and down and you hold this top button, it'll turn green. We say green for ground and red for roof. And then that would allow you to run your power jacks individually or at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and close this entrance door and take a look at the canvas right up above and watch how it pulls everything in. As we move to the inside, they do a great job at adding storage all over the place in here. We have your dinette right inside the door. Underneath the carpeted piece is storage, so you can put the table leg down there. And this will turn into another sleeping area. So there's those little black brackets right down below. The table will actually lay on those and you have extra cushions to fill in and make an extra sleeping area. Right up above the dinette, we do have a canvas storage bag up here and that just hooks up top so you can take that inside the house load it up bring it back out and keep it in here 
while traveling. Thermostat for your furnace, 110 and 12 volt charge ports. Some counter space up top here. Storage. And then also right down below here, we have another storage area, which is a great spot for your porta potty to take along with you. Underneath the carpeted step up into the bed area, we have your breakers and fuses on the very bottom left hand side. Your solar controller up top on the left hand side. In the middle is your carbon monoxide detector and then your switch to turn on and off your water pump. We do have a window that will go to the back of your truck as well if you have a window there. Some storage at the end of the bed here. This is a queen size mattress, 60 by 80. We have storage on both sides of the bed, that foot locker storage there, that fantastic fan right up above the bed. And we also have another vent fan in the middle here. I'm sorry, this one is just a vent right behind me, right above my head right now, it is gonna be another vent with a small fan inside of it. In the kitchen area, we have more storage up above here. This one actually has a divider in it. Counter space, 110 outlet on the left-hand side there, right in the kitchen. The refrigerator is a three-way. It is 12 volt, 110, and gas. In the kitchen area, we have your two burner stove. It has the glass cover that you can use as prep space if you are not cooking at that point in time. Window in the kitchen area as well. There's a look at that two burner stove. We have a single bowl sink. It comes with this cover here, so that way if you're not using the sink, you can use that as a prep space as well. And there is a look at the sink area. Furnace underneath the two burner stove. Another 110 outlet. The uh, black, the, the black place right here with the green light on, I'm sorry, is where you're gonna turn on and off the power for your Rico Titan for the roof lift system. And if you upgrade to the power jacks, that as well. We have your on-demand water heater controls right here that will turn it on and off and also allow you to set the temperature. More storage underneath right here in the kitchen area. Right down below is where the remote will hang for your roof lift system and the power jacks. And then last but not least, we have this little screen mesh area for extra storage down below. Here is a look at the very back of the camper. We have that extra vent up top with the fan back here. With the canvas that goes all the way around, you can have it darkened out like this. There is also a deep tinted vinyl piece that goes around. So that way you can just let light in or you can unzip that and have it screen all the way around, which would really open up the camper and let in a lot of airflow. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give myself or Henry a call at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.